so now that you have the basics down in terms of how to get around the Tinkercad workspace, um, th in my opinion, this is where the real fun begins because uh, we're going to look at actually uh, using a combination of shapes to create new shapes. And so the first thing you'd want to learn to do is how to work with holes. Uh, right here are some two uh, basic hole shapes, both the cube and the cylinder. And so I'm going to just bring these up here for a second. And what I want to do is show you how they work. What I want to do, let's take, for example, this shape here, and let's make it bigger. This. And let's say that I wanted to make a hole go straight through this, this uh, three-dimensional uh, rectangle. So let's say I'm going to take this, uh, this cylinder here, and I'm going to make it a little longer. And I want to push it all the way through. What I'm going to do is I literally want to take it and just drag it right in there. Make sure it's going all the way through. It doesn't have to go all the way through, but I'm going to make this one go all the way through. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit. So I'm going to look for my cone. And I'm going to bring it up a bit. And now this hole is going to go through like that. Now, currently, I just have a solid object and a whole object together. In, in fact, speaking of which, if I were to, to select them both and go to align, I could at this point align, let's see, I want to align their centers this way, and I want to align their centers horizontally, and now I got an exact alignment of what I want. So there's a, use, a great use of my alignment tool. Um, but in order to actually make it a hole or to confirm the presence of a hole, what I have to do is I have to select them both. And over here on the right hand side, you'll see that the group icon now becomes available. Again, it's not available if I'm only selecting one object, but two or more, it now gives me the ability to group. So the minute I group these, click on that, and you'll see now that a hole was actually made. So creating holes actually is a two-step process. One is putting the objects together, and the second step is actually grouping them to make the hole. Now, you, are, you see here that there are two basic holes. Just note that any of these shapes or any of these things can become holes. So I can take this one here, and I can take this one here, and I can make the uh, cone, what used to be a pyramid, or now it's a multifaceted cone, I can turn that into a hole just by clicking on it. Okay, so move this back out. Up again, here's, here's a solid color yellow. Here's a hole. I can make any object I want into a hole. And once again, if I group them together and then hit group, I actually have created a hole. So this is really opening up an amazing array of uh, possibilities for you in terms of the objects you create. I mean, it, right now, just there, I created what almost looks like a, a shoe or a canoe or something uh, that could be that could become part of another object. So at this point, with just knowing how to use the different shapes and turning some into holes and resizing and reshaping them, you can create some pretty amazing stuff.